जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी आई एम जसविंदर सिंह अ थर्ड ऑफ सर करेंटली वर्किंग ऑन गैस कैरियर्स एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो गाइज विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टिप्स फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम थर्ड ऑफ सर्स सो लेट्स बिगिन सो फर्स्टली आई वुड लाइक टू हाईलाइट इफेक्टिव टाइम मैनेजमेंट गाइज सो वेन वी आर कैडिट्स जब हम लोग कैडिट होते हैं तो देर इज नो फिक्स टाइम जो भी हमें कैडिटशिप में चीफ ऑफिसर या फिर कुछ भी ड्यूटीज या फिर कुछ भी काम मिलता है दे इज नो स्पेसिफिक टाइम ही कैन कॉल यू एनी टाइम बट वंस यू बिकम एन ऑफिसर लाइक फॉर अ डेक ऑफिसर देर इज अ स्पेसिफिक टाइमिंग लाइक अ थर्ड ऑफिसर ही कीप्स वॉचेज फ्रॉम एट टू ट्वेल्व इन द मॉर्निंग एंड सेम टाइम इन द नाइट फॉर सेकेंड ऑफिसर इट्स ट्वेल्व टू फोर एंड सेम ए एम एंड पी एम एंड फॉर चीफ ऑफिसर इट्स फोर टू एट सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू मेंटेन अ गुड टाइम टेबल फॉर योर सेल्फ लाइक हाउ यू आर यू गोइंग टू कैरी आउट योर सेकेंडरी टास्क विच आर एक्सक्लूडिंग योर primary job that is safe navigation for example as a third officer your primary job is safe navigation of ship and your secondary job is maintenance of all the lsa and ffa on board okay so for that you are given an over time of 2 hours at least every day so mostly as third officers we are going on deck from 1 like 1300 hours to 1500 hours and during that time we are doing all the maintenance and testing of the life saving appliances and fire fighting equipment so you have to plan everything in advance because 2 hours are not not enough if you are going to plan during that time so you have to keep in mind okay today, today i am going to do these these tasks and keep everything ready and then just go and do the maintenance of those things okay so time management is really important because after that you have to come back to your cabin and you have to rest as well because in the night 8 to 12 again you have to go for your watch so you have to get those one or two hours of sleep for yourself so that you don't feel sleepy in your night watch so time management is very important guys let's go on to the second trick second tip so second is don't hesitate in seeking help okay so in the first contract usually most third officers i also was very scared in asking help or asking favors from seniors but you should definitely if you are in any doubt don't go ahead with the task please ask your seniors because they obviously have much more experience than you they will give you the right guidance and they will tell you how to do that thing in okay they might give you some shortcuts as well they might tell you okay this can be done in less lesser amount of time if you do it this way okay so it's always important to discuss it with your seniors what are you planning okay so like this you can save your time as well as get their expertise okay then behave like a responsible officer so what happens is mostly when we are going from credit from when we are going from this transition of credit ship to a responsible third officer it happens that in the beginning we take things lightly but that's not how things work on board okay so when you are going on board as a third officer or as a junior officer people have some expectations from you they want that you should behave in a certain manner okay so they are thinking in their mind okay this guy is a third officer obviously crew and all they are giving you respect they are calling you by teen sahab or they are calling you third okay and so they expect that they, you should know all the basic things and all all in the cadet ship time there was no such things you were told okay you can ask bindas everything whatever you want to ask you can ask but during when you become an third officer that time you can't do like this okay like you can't ask the crew for something some small small things okay they might they might talk within themselves right that they might say okay this third officer he doesn't know this this thing and that's got not going to look good so you have to keep all those things in mind you have to prepare yourself accordingly that when you go on board as a third officer be confident be relaxed prepare yourself and do your job perfectly right guys then be honest with your seniors honesty is very important guys you have to maintain a certain level of transparency because everybody on board is working on trust basis as well okay so chief officer is trusting you let's say chief officer has given you something and if you tell him that this work is done so he doesn't have to check that work again guys trust me guys if you are able to build the trust in the beginning of your contract your whole contract will go smooth but if that trust factor is not there every time those officers those senior officers are going to sit on your head and they are going to watch you or invigilate you and that's not a good sign guys you have to build that trust you have to especially during navigation you have to gain the trust of captain that okay you will be able to handle and keep independent watch keeping right guys so trust factor is really important then check your work twice 
this is usually for paperwork or whatever documentation you are handling as a third officer when you are giving or submitting it to the captain make sure make sure to check it twice guys kyunki ho sakta hai ki aap ek bar ya do bar kahin na kahin choti moti mistake kar do so it's always a better it's always a better practice to go and check once again whatever things you have done you might find one or two mistakes every time i am telling you hota hi hai kahin na kahin we tend to make mistakes okay so always double check because it always otherwise it will not give a good impression on the captain that you are submitting like this without any checking okay so always double check your paperwork especially port documents are very important if you make any you know errors in that the ship could be fined so you have to be very careful in that then check uh, check your work wise you already talked about then focus on primary job safe navigation yeah so as a third officer when you are working on board and you are keeping a watch so in the beginning i would recommend don't use that time while like don't use that time like sitting on pc and doing some uh, other work because captain is always watching you he will come frequently to check on you okay and if he finds out that you are sitting most of the time on pc and doing some secondary work instead of doing navigation then definitely he is going to make up some bad image about yourself in his mind okay so you don't want that to be happen you happen to you okay so in the first contract try to focus on safe navigation first because if your navigation is good then everything will follow up because in the first first or two contracts basically you are in a probation period probation period is that period in which if the captain or the head he doesn't feels that you are not capable enough or not competent enough he might demote you as well he might make you sail as a junior officer as well so those things are also in place you have to perform accordingly so for his approval for his for uh, you know to show him that you are performing good you have to first focus on safe navigation and then use your extra spare time for doing other paperwork or documentation but during your watch try to avoid doing that okay then learning from all seniors and juniors so learning never stops in this profession till the time you are sailing you are always learning nobody knows 100% in this profession you are always learning you are always upgrading yourself so you will meet a lot of people on board some will be good some will be bad always try to take positives from everyone and build your own personality build your own character and if you are getting any negative things from them just ignore it don't take it just take the positives from them okay and build yourself this is how you are going to make good relationships on board and you are going to become a better you know communicator and you will be a good leader once you become a chief officer or a second engineer because in those ranks you need to handle a group of people so as soon as possible you need to start learning all those things of management of team management and group management just now you saw that a young third officer jaswinder singh has written this fabulous book a great initiative taken for the maritime industry and i just hope that baba ji kripa that he writes other two books soon. and i am just waiting that many more young people join and make sure that we give the right knowledge to the maritime fraternity at one end in the last three years merchant navy decoded has helped a lot of marine engineers and gp rating people with a lot of online content which is helping them today earn respect on ship whether it related to how to read electrical circuit diagram how to read manual diagrams how does automation work a lot of videos made on ship definitely we lag with the deck side packages but uh, now we have worked on that so we we have come along with packages on ror we have come along with packages on specifically made for uh, candidates who are about to join their first ship as a deck cadet and many more why don't you just go to the link given in the description box and the pin comment and see for yourself what all packages are available and how are they beneficial to you let's make a strong maritime community which is out there to earn respect on ship and make indian maritime fraternity proud jai hind jai bharat jai mata